Okay, so this is the Ozark Trail Flat Creek 12 person cabin tent. It is quite large as you can see. It's 21 by 17 feet. It's got several windows. Um, the roof or the rain fly has not been installed yet. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the perimeter. Lots of big windows. It's got a, um, got two actually, one on either side. This little floor vent, which many people use as a port for AC. It'll connect their AC unit, the window unit there. We will be doing that as well, especially with camping out west in the summer. Um, there's one of the closets. That middle area there is a shower or bathroom area. And that is the entire back view. Again, very large tent, 21 by 17. Second closet. That's our second floor vent, which is also used for an AC port right there. Coming back around towards the front. I'm gonna go ahead and come on in. So my husband and my daughter are talking trash because they put it together a little faster than my son and I did, but they had a completely flat surface. We were working with uh, interesting conditions. So there's a little area there of tarp that extends outward. You can use to, as a, I guess, a rug, put boots, etc. Um, the doors here, there's zipper and Velcro. It also has these, which the zippers glow in the dark, which is nice. Unzips here. It does that on both sides, of course. And it has tie backs where you can tie everything back. I'm not going to unzip it, but you can see here where you can, um, let me come on in it's the front area here, this front room, let me turn around, but if you'd like, you can unzip, let me go ahead and unzip it, this here to give you a little bit more air flowing through. You can do that on both sides. So if it's a hot day and you want more air in here, you can just have the roof open. You can unzip those main doors there. And you can unzip these windows. The window is on either side. So I'll go ahead and do one window. So what you see now is my husband and son struggling to put on the rain fly. I tried to tell him to put it on before um, the tent was fully raised to make it easier, but of course they didn't want to listen. So now they're going to struggle with it. Ha <laughs> ha. But um, this main room here, you can zip off. I won't zip it all the way off, but you get the point. You can zip it off. I see a lot of people use this area as a kitchen. Um, if you choose to do that, um, then you can zipper this area completely off if you choose. All right, coming inside now. If we look directly in, in front of us here. We have the shower room. Let me zip that back up so you can see it. This is the shower room or bathroom. 
and uh, this glows in the dark. You also have this zipper cover again that glows in the dark so you can see it really well at night. You can zip that up. It's actually a pretty deep space. So you could easily make, maybe put a shower in that end. And then put a little camp toilet on that end. And as you see here on the floor, there's these little uh, mesh areas so that if you are taking a shower in here, <laughs> my daughter being silly, um, the water will just drain right through here. And since it's completely zippered off from the rest of the tent, water won't come through here. It'll just, you know, stay contained within this area. I like the fact that it has a little window so you can keep some fresh air flowing through here. Now, I don't have it out right now, um, but there's little hooks here where you can actually put a little um, divider. I believe it does come with a divider. So if you want to have that shower area separate from the toilet area on this side, you can do that and have them separate. So now here, it's got some little hanging storage right there. One of the many windows you can unzip. And we will definitely be using these floor vents as AC ports because it is very hot. Even being in here for a few minutes now, it is hot. We are in Georgia and it is the end of May. And yes, I definitely want to be comfortable whether I'm camping or not. So here is one of the closets here. Um, I don't have them out right now, but I know they do have some hanging shelves that you can put here to help hang things. And I believe there's a rod that connects to these areas here so that you can have a little rod where you can actually hang some items. more windows you can definitely get plenty of air circulating through here another window here i won't open that but you get the point um looking all the way across the tent now same thing you have your windows your little storage hanging basket situation your floor event and your second closet which is actually a pretty decent closet like i can actually get in here so you can certainly store a good bit so we'll probably have something where we have our kids here they're big kids um and then Maybe do, I don't know, some sort of common seating here. And then have maybe our bed there. Or we might make this one a bedroom too. I don't know. We'll see. It's yet to be determined. Um, so they have a little spot here where you can hang a lantern or something if you need to. There's also um, hooks here where they have some lighting. They have some LED lighting these little battery packs that you can use to run LED lighting throughout if you want. Um, let's see, is there anything else I didn't cover? Oh, yes, yeah, so there is a divider screen that you can actually hang to kind of separate this space as well. I don't have it up, but it's essentially um, a piece of material just like this and you can hang it there and divide these two areas off for just a little bit more privacy if you desire but very very large tent as you can see very spacious oh i forgot this a little port for allowing the electrical cord to come through 
I think the only thing I would change is adding a little bit of Velcro to the inside here so that it really closes off around the wire um, just to make sure small critters can't crawl through there. But that's an easy fix. Okay. And that is it. I'll do another video um, once we actually have everything set up at our actual campsite a couple months from now. Oh wait, let me go ahead and show you guys the exterior now that we have the roof up so you see what that looks like. Okay, there you go. This is everything with the roof attached. It's very cute. It actually does look like a little house or a cottage. Alright, well that's it until next time. I'll post another video soon.